<laughs> All right. <clears throat> What's going on? Welcome. How you doing? I think um, we shouldn't even waste any more time. We should just hop into today's, hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Having finished my first semester, passed all of my courses, but by far not the top of my class of 20, uh, should I quit? Do I need straight A's like everyone else seems to be getting to be good at this? What? What country are you from? This is America. Lower your standards. You don't even have to be the top of your class to be successful in America. You just have to not quit. Eventually, people are going to start knocking themselves off because they just don't think they're good enough like you're considering, and they quit themselves. So it's all about, what's that word? Resilience. You just got to kind of keep going. That's how some of us made it through our own careers. We just didn't stop doing it. You don't have to be the greatest. You just got to be able to do it. And forget school. Like, what are you really trying to do? That's what the, that's what the thing is. Just know what you want to do. That's the secret of life. Now, I believe in school because during the course of it, at least you're not being a lazy bum doing nothing. During the course of that time, you can just figure it out what it needs to be and then you can transition. But maybe by then you figured out enough to get like a reasonable opening salary somewhere. Like A lot of people don't know this. I got a degree in English. And uh, if something didn't work out, I go teach classes. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm serious. I would, I would, I would teach classes. Now, um, it might be a little bit too fun, you know, like to be in my class. Could you imagine being in my class? Man, people would sign up. People would sign up to be in my class. <laughs> All right. Well, so let's find another. Hey, Mike. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, Mike, my wife has never been so in a sex and in intimacy as me. Welp, that there is a problem. You're already out the gate sexually incompatible. What you need to do now is before you start getting all these feelings and emotions, leave, leave, or start having really tough conversations. You know those conversations like, listen, my libido is, I don't know, it's just outstanding. It's like the first in its class. And I want us to work. So should we continue doing this or should we consider other options? I don't know what other options are, but is there something else to consider? What should we do? How are we going to make this work? I don't want to be in the bathroom alone just so things can balance out. I should have kept reading. Hold on. I almost always initiate, and it has to be a certain way or she isn't into it. <sighs> Look at this. You can stay in your relationship and be unhappy until you're 60 and your libido finally levels out. Or you could... Find other options. Take that for whatever you want it to be. Okay, let's see. What else? I should have kept reading. When she does initiate, she says things like, well, I guess we can go upstairs if you want. <laughs> oh, listen, man. You need whores. Find them. They're out there. And they will take care of you and make you the man you deserve to be. I know there's always two sides of a story. I know she probably has a point of view on this as well. But with only one half, 
Thank you for reaching out to, hey, Mike. <laughs>